Hey y'all, welcome back to another edition of Some Fifi. Guess what we got in menu today? Today, you guys, we have ramen kimchi souped up. <clears throat> Let me tell you what I got on the menu. I've got some Chinese sausage that I cut up. I got some green onion. I got some kimchi. I got some uh, poached eggs. Would y'all like to see a video on how I made a poached egg? Learn how to do it. And it's so cool. And I have my fork and my spoon. This is the kind of kimchi that I use, and we got a gnat going on over here. But anywho, <clears throat> yeah, without further ado, let's get into this, y'all. Before my food get cold. If you start hearing some sizzling, that's because my um oh, y'all wanna see this? Hold on. Uh oh. Look at that. Y'all see that? Yeah. That's how my oh, let me try my noodle first without the egg. But yeah, y'all, I had to do me a kimchi noodle because my son ate all my kimchi noodles. Okay. Mm-hmm. That works. Put a little bit of that egg in there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm work with that. I'm gonna mix this up. Mix the kimchi up with the noodle and the onion. Let's check out this uh sausage. Mmm. Okay. Alright, I see you. Kimchi. Get a little sausage, a little onion, a little kimchi, and let's wrap this bad boy up. So how many of you guys have tried kimchi noodles? The one thing I can tell you about these, this particular brand that I got, uh, if you're trying to lose weight, don't eat the whole package. The whole package has 520 calories. Two eggs, 140 calories. So that's what, six? 60? Remember how much was in this one sausage lamp. That's about 200. So that's eight, 60. Uh -huh. Kimchi only has five calories. Uh -huh. 15. Per one ounce. So, you already have, hey, what, 875 calories? Yep, that's it. Mm hmm. Mm. Now I'm going to add some dumplings to it. But I realized I left it in the microwave. I'm glad I didn't because that would have been those six dumplings was 225 calories. I put this over a thousand. Thousand calories. Mm-hmm. It's my ice mixer. Uh-oh. Not today, boo-boo. They must like that kimchi. Mm. Not gonna work. No mercy in Texas this summer. But yeah, <clears throat> so be careful when you, uh, this is a sexy noodle challenge, but it's a high calorie sexy noodle challenge. So here we go. That's the kimchi, let's spice it. Mm hmm. It sure is. Let's spice it, but it's all right. Have you tried the kimchi noodles? I did want to talk to y'all today. I got my um, I got my up, um, my C nineteen shot. And let me tell you, honey, they thought I was gonna pass out in that chair, honey. That woman, when she gave me that shot, I thought she went down to my bone. And that was just the shot part. That wasn't when she started pushing the medicine in. 
And they said they've had people pass out. I can see why. It ain't nothing nice. It ain't nothing nice. Nothing nice at all. And I'll take the Johnson Johnson shot. This is the thing. I have several reasons why I decided to take the Johnson Johnson shot. One, it's made just like the childhood vaccines were made. Two, it doesn't have temperature. Um, it doesn't have strict temperature controls. Hmm. Four is one dose. That's my reasoning. So. Some people don't want to take it. More power to you. I didn't want to take the Pfizer and Moderma. There's too many areas where human error can make a mistake. And uh, you know what's so crazy? When I went to go take my um, shot and I told them I want to take Johnson Johnson, they said, like, what? what? And these are the people that are off in there. Um, they either administering it, setting you up to administer it, all that kind of stuff. <clears throat> and I couldn't do nothing, just shake my head. I said, y'all the ones with the giving out the shots. But evidently, you ain't done your education on it. The Moderma and the Pfizer one, they're using this MR technology. Which is not what, and it was rushed. So, no. I'm okay. passed. Now, none of them have been accepted by the um, FDA. None of them have been approved yet. But, oh, I know that the uh, vaccination I took as a child, they work. So, let's go to each zone. We'll see what happens. Hmm, this is good. You know, I said to each zone, but do research on how it's made. You don't know how it's going to affect you. Taking anything has risk. Hmm. Sorry, guys. But in, in, taking anything has risk, but you got to do what you got to do for you. I think now, correct me if I'm wrong, anybody. If you get the coronavirus, they're not giving you the immunization. Maybe until you get through it, if you make it. Mm. Um, if you make it. So, they're saying this uh, new one is highly more contagious. I don't know if I believe that, but, hey. but it's making people more sick. I don't know. We'll see. That's all I got to say. I'm not quite sure. I'm not completely sold. But I'm. But it will make sense that it's a little bit more aggressive because it's a, a variant or a uh, mutation. And it's something that it's even more new to the body. But they're saying that it's affecting people in the 40s, 30s, 40s, and 50s more. So we'll see. Y'all just be safe out there. Be safe out there, wear your mask. Even if you go out. Wear your mask, wash your hands, wash your ass. You know, that's what I always tell you. So, do what you gotta do to protect you. That's all I can say. And for those of you who, um, have had COVID, you can get it again. You can definitely get it again. 
So let me get immune to it. But I say this. I wish you well. I pray for you. Do what you got to do. Only thing I can tell you is drink your water. Gargle with salt water three to four times a day. You ever get your nose? Because this viral is respiratory. So that's all I got for you. I want you to stay prayed up and do good. And if you go around your elders, please make sure you wear a mask. Be safe. Keep them safe. Without, let's ring this up. You guys, be safe. Remember, it's not what you do now that it has effects now. It's what you do now that has effects later. Ain't no take backs, right? Okay. When you put it out there, and you put it out there. So, wear your mask. Wash your hands. Wash your ass. Till next time, y'all. Bye.